I hear what you're saying. And there's a lot of talk that's uh, being put out there about the pledge that was signed, the Grover Norquist uh, orchestrated pledge that was signed by so many members to, to not raise taxes under any circumstances. Did you sign that? And how do you feel about it now? Oh, I signed it, and I, and I absolutely believe we don't have to raise taxes now. Uh, we can get this country spending under control uh, through frugal management and good, effective management of this out-of-control government. But uh, we've got to deal with the crisis we face. We've got to deal with the political reality of the president's victory. So we'll wrestle with all of that uh, as we go forward. But I want to see and insist that this money be used to reduce if it is any yeah. new revenue coming in. I, I want to ask you this one more time. When, when you look at the statements by Senator Lindsey Graham and Senator Saxby Chambliss, who basically said, you know, I'm willing to revisit the, the tax pledge, uh, but only if we get real commensurate spending cuts. What do you think about that posture from them? Well, Lindsey's, uh, he's a member of the Budget Committee, which yeah. I'm ranking Republican on, and Lindsey has said that before. This isn't really new. He truly believes, and he's correct, if we... Those programs are not sustainable. Mm -hmm. So he's conditioning any tax increase on fixing the, these programs, Social Security and Medicare particularly, and making sure that they're sound for the future. So that's Lindsay's position, and, and he's talked about yeah. uh, accepting revenue to accomplish that goal, but only if that goal is accomplished yeah. it, with the new revenue. It's interesting. I think the talk of compromise may in some ways be to sort of present that to the American people so that when they go into that room, if they come out with nothing, uh, they'll all be held accountable. Uh, thank you so much. It's always good to have you, Senator Sessions. Good luck to you all. Thank you. Thank you. New Year's Eve is a Monday this year, by the way.